behalf of those organizations, but to speak on behalf of myself as a lesbian mother, as a wife, um, as a mother of four, I can only imagine, I can only imagine the pain that these parents, that the loved ones are feeling. I am so, so moved by the show of support that I see here tonight. I am so moved by the amount of people who were not scared and who came out and did not allow fear or ignorance to stop them from showing their love. many ignorant people in this world, but there's a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King that says, we, our voices end, we die when we stand aside and be silent, when we see wrongdoing. I'm paraphrasing because I can't remember the exact words, <laughs> but we fall silent if we stand by and do nothing. And what we're showing tonight by looking out and seeing the sea of candles, what we're showing is that we're not going silent. And we know that this world, there's a lot of people that hate, there's a lot of ignorance. We see it on the TV every day, every single day. When you talk about a bathroom bounty or people not being able to use a bathroom of which they feel comfortable because somebody might not know what gender they are and they might be hurt by somebody coming into the bathroom that doesn't quite look like they do. It's all ignorance. But the only way to combat ignorance is by these shows of support, by not laying silent in the night, by not going, by not laying down and letting people walk all over us. We, we fight by coming out, by coming to our events, by not having fear. It was once upon a time that I was told, and this was before my time, that in our clubs we used to black out the windows so that people wouldn't see who was going in and who was going out. We used the back door. We are not using the goddamn back door anymore. We will no longer have fear. And those who stand against us, they see around the country right now and all today, thousands, millions have come out to show that this will not be tolerated. We will not go silently into the night. We will not. We will stand. We will go to our events. We will support our community. We will come out and show up and hold our lights up high and know that we are proud to be who we are. Thank you.
chips are still not legal, so they don't conform to the HIPAA code. So there's a lot of things, and I don't also, I don't know if you saw people being carried. They weren't carried in stretchers. I didn't even see any ambulances. You had people being carried on the street by other brothers and sisters and others, hopefully to a car to get them to a hospital. There was a very slow response to what happened in Orlando. And I think that we had, we should have a lot of questions about why they sat in that nightclub for so long, for three hours, pleading to death on the floor. And how, and you know, honestly, sisters and brothers, I don't know about you, but we live in a city and we live in an area that has brutally attacked black and brown youth. That has killed black and brown youth. And I think if we have to be really clear whose side we are on. I don't think we can praise the FBI and Homeland Security for their quick action in Orlando. We can praise our sisters and brothers and others who came out and dragged people to the hospital and then couldn't get in because we don't have that legal status. And we can support our Latina brothers and sisters, and we can support our Muslim brothers and sisters. Because I don't want, I don't want any Muslim in this country to feel defensive because of what happened in Orlando. That was not about the Muslim community. It was about the lousy, rotten, racist system that we live under. And you can blame Donald Trump just about more than anyone for really fostering the flames of homophobia, anti-Latino prejudice, black, you know, anti-black um, racism. Anyway, I just, all that I just want to leave you with, I am angry. I am and I don't, and I think if anything, this is a call that we need to organize, that we need to visibly be out. This year at the LGBTQ, Pride parades, and I wish they weren't called parades. I wish they were called demonstrations. Stonewall was a rebellion, right? The, 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 everything that has happened, every time we have been able to get our rights, it's been because we struggled. So I urge you to be visible. I urge you to be loud. I urge you to be angry. And I urge you to blame the system. Don't give in to the Islamophobia that all of the politicians our community the way it began. It was one of struggle, it was one of unity, it was one where our transgender brothers and sisters and others led our movement. And we built that movement to fight back. Thank you.